Hey, what is happening? This is Jay Hunt from Merge Media. Um, this week, we're talking about safeguarding your Facebook accounts. Um, the reason why this topic is so important right now um, for us especially is because we incurred a huge is issue re recently at our agency with accounts and with accounts being shut down. Um, you know, I personally, and, and I'm being totally honest and totally transparent. So, you know, we had two Facebook accounts running. One was for work and business, and the other one uh, was for personal. I, I really did want to keep those two separate for a number of reasons. Um, one of those reasons being that, uh, you know, I had multiple people accessing that work account. You know, we were doing a lot of our content creation for clients. A lot of our community management was happening all through that Jason uh, Hunt uh, work account. And so... What happened was uh, Facebook ended up flagging this account. So you gotta keep in mind, I'm gonna back up a second here. Facebook looks at your profile um, like a credit card. Like nobody should be accessing that Facebook profile of yours. Um, it should be unique to you and everybody out there should just have one. Um, so if you are out there and running multiple accounts, I strongly suggest that you scale back to just run one and run everything that you're doing in your Facebook business with just the one account. Um, we've actually had to make this change internally as well as we had multiple employees managing two different accounts, one personal, one for work. Um, so and when you do that, what happens is, well, for us, what happened is Facebook flagged this work account and essentially it got shut down, which affected, now keep in mind, we work with dozens upon dozens upon dozens and dozens of accounts. So this account, we could not access, therefore we could not access some of these pages for our employees anymore. But fortunately, we had a backup account that was set up there. So we were able to access those accounts still only because we had that backup in place. If we didn't have a secondary account added to those Facebook pages, um, we essentially wouldn't be able to access them at all. And for some of those business pages, we are the only one that's managing that page. So if if that Jason Hunt work account was could not be accessed, we could not access our client pages and, and the following that we've garnered for those clients or all of the activity that we've done for them or all of the ads. So it's so imperative and so important that you do have that backup account in place um, if you plan on running Facebook uh, ads for your account or you plan on doing any social media management for a business, okay? Now, uh, one thing I wanna take a look at here is I'm gonna share my screen with you. So I'm just gonna run you through. It's very easy if you go up to your uh, settings um, top right of your screen on Facebook from a desktop, you're gonna see general, you're gonna see security and login. So when you're in security and login, simply what you wanna do with that one account that you have is do the two-factor authentication, okay? So what's gonna happen is Facebook's gonna notify you if somebody tries to access your account, okay? Um, somebody tries to access your account from a device or location that is not natural for you to log in from, uh, which is very important, especially nowadays, a lot of hackers out there, um, you just wanna keep yourself, you're gonna wanna keep yourself secure, okay? Something else that's important is, is choosing three to five friends to contact if you get locked out. Set this up, add a few people on there, add your spouse, add a brother, sister, family member, add a few people on there because in, in our case, what happened was I had to talk to Facebook support um, through my business partner's account. And I was not, uh, you know, one of these friends that was set up on their account. So it made it very difficult to have this, uh, this interaction with Facebook using somebody else's account without being one of these authentic contacts that, that is done through this page. So that is one reason why you're going to want to set this up is to make sure if there ever is a problem that you can easily talk to a Facebook rec, rep to get that problem resolved. Okay. And so those are the two most important things. And, and, you know, if you, if you plan on running any ads for, um, for government or you're trying to run it for a, a political party, um, you are going to need to confirm your identity much like you would do on Google. Um, if you, if you're ever, if you're familiar with Google and how that works, you actually have to send, uh, something in the Google, Google's going to physically send you snail mail, um, letting you know that, uh, that basically they're going to send you a six digit code and you have to manually put in that six digit code when you receive that uh, piece of mail, um, into Google to authenticate your account. Much like the same with Facebook, and if you do wanna run political ads, Facebook is gonna ask for the same thing. They're gonna ask for a couple pieces of ID, as well as they are gonna send you this code um, that you're gonna to have to um, put in the Facebook before running those political ads. Okay, 
Um, moving on. So in terms of business manager, an important one as well. And, and this is the thing, since we were running ads since 2016, uh, you know, much has changed on Facebook. So you can imagine we are running everything through this one account and we are running everybody's ad spend uh, through one ad account. Times have changed now and you got to make sure every single business has their own business manager. Okay. Especially if, if, if rather than them adding you as an admin to their business manager, what you need to do is have them add you as a partner. Okay. And there's many reasons for that. One, it'll keep you organized. If you just do it across the board for all of your clients, have them add you as a partner. It's going to make life more easy for you. Also, it makes it transparent with the client as well. So the client can see all the activity that's happening uh, within their own account. Secondly, if for whatever, for whatever reason, you're not working with that account any longer, um, you know, you don't know, you can't control the activities or, or the things that they do on their side of the fence. They might go out there and do some activities that's against Facebook policy and uh, shut down that account. And if your name's attached to it, it could have some, um, some detrimental consequences to your actual, uh, to your actual ad account or your business account. Okay. So, um, very important that you keep those separate, have any client add you as a partner, not an admin. Okay. Um, lastly, I noticed something recently last week, pixel data. So all that pixel data that goes back to uh, Facebook from a pixel, um, Facebook's now monitoring the traffic that's coming in through those pixels. And if it's a, if it's coming from a website that's blacklisted by Facebook or, or has content on that page that's against Facebook policy, Facebook's now catching that. And, um, and what they're going to do is, is they're basically going to blacklist the, the site. So any traffic that hits that pixel, you're not going to be able to do anything with it. You're not going to be able to create any audiences. You're not going to be able to see the data. So that's something to keep in mind when you do put pixels on certain pages. Just make sure that those uh, websites or landing pages that you're putting that pixel on are compliant with Facebook's policies. Okay. Now that's a quick rundown. Uh, hopefully you got some value out of that. If you are at all interested in safeguarding your Facebook account, um, if you have any questions or have anything that you want to know about Facebook advertising, just drop a comment below or send me a direct message. I'll be happy to talk about it in our next episode. Okay. Be good. Have a good week. We'll see you soon.